Okay, so we're ready to do blind taste test. And I will also taste them, but it won't be a blind taste test for me because I bought the items, so I obviously know what they are. You ready? Can you see? No, I can't see anything. And I just want everyone to know that this is extremely difficult for me because I have trust issues. You can't tell, but I was just looking offended. I have trust issues. I'm offended. I can't even eat food with my eyes closed if I know what it is. So this is hard. I think we're going to start with savory and then move to kind of sweet and then do candies last. Isabel helped me pick out a lot of this. So a lot of it's things that a two year old would like. It'll be all right. First item. Okay, this looks and smells very good. It smells like kind of like crab with like soy, like some like sesame seed. Okay. Oh, I think slightly spicier on the palate. Is it like a fish jerky or something? What you just tried was roast pollock, like DP and B mm -hmm. from Crash Landing on You. I don't think theirs was spicy. Is it spicy? Is it meant to be spicy? It was spicy to me. It's not very spicy to me. Okay, so this bite is not as spicy as the bite I had the first time. So, would you give this a thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Would you have it again? Yeah. Good, because we have a whole tray of it. Like okay, so this. spicy roast pollock. Two thumbs up. Okay, let's move on to something a little more fun, which Isabel picked. Doesn't have very much smell. Mmm, lots of flavor though. I don't know, like fried chicken flavored or? Mm -mm. It's really good. It's like the consistency of a Cheeto. It just has seafood on it, so. They're super light and crispy. I can see myself eating a lot of them. We'll for sure eat all these. Are so good? Yes. Up next, we're totally changing pace here. Also, while y'all are watching this, if there's anything you want us to try, put it in the comments so we can go out and buy them. We may just do like a taste test of y'all's favorite snacks. Isabel just picked things that she thought were interesting and then I was watching what the Korean shoppers were buying and just picking up things that I saw other people pick up. That was my method. Um, Open your mouth. Mm, some sort of kimchi. Okay, so we've had kimchi before, obviously, but this is like canned kimchi. Like you oh, can get it like like canned tuna. Oh. This could be worth picking up several cans of to have with dinners and stuff. You know, until I learned how to make kimchi. So good. Mm, this is pretty good. Okay. Canned kimchi. I give it a thumbs up. Not the best kimchi I've ever had, but pretty good for out of a can. Up next. Totally random. I have no idea if this is actually gonna taste like what it says on the package. Very interesting. <laughs> so, I do not think the flavor of this is gonna be the same as what it looks like. Some sort of gummy? I'm just gonna give you a piece. Okay. It is a gummy type thing. Wow, I'm really good at guessing. Interesting, it tastes like um, a green gusher without the juicy. I want you to see it. Can we pull this up? Oh, it's so bright. <laughs> Is that bacon? <laughs> it's pork belly. It says pork belly jelly, and I <laughs> kind of thought it was gonna taste like pork belly, and that's why I was so interested in it. But it tastes very fruity, like a weird, very thick fruit snack. It's kind of a novelty, not really what I expected, but um, it will get eaten. Okay, they had a whole bunch of things like this, which is why I got it. I saw someone else buying it. All right. That is a weird, what is happening? Is it dissolving in my mouth? Yes. What is this? Can you see the inside of this thing? Is it like cotton candy? It's sweet. It tastes kind of like sesame. I'm assuming it's made out of rice. The inside is so flaky and it, it literally does just dissolve. Mm. But the outside is chewy. Almost peanutty. Like it's fried in peanut oil. It says that these are traditional Korean crackers. I wouldn't really call it a cracker, but it really is good. good. Yeah. Not what I was expecting this to be. Oh, interesting. Good thing we have a lot of them because I like it. Just looking at it, I expected it to be really crunchy. I like it. I will continue to eat these. Next, we have 
the thing that I'm possibly the most excited for us to try. I promise you, we have never had anything like this before. Let's just go for it. Oh, they're individually packaged. I'm gonna go ahead and let him try this one. You're not gonna try it yet? I really just wanna see what you think first. It smells kinda like a... I'm not sure you've ever smelled this smell before. It, no, it reminds me of, um, smell it. I smelled it. I don't think that you will guess. Do you want me to tell you? Not yet. I'm gonna try it. Is it some sort of like fruit something? Like dried fruit? Uh-uh, you don't like it. I do not like that. I'm sorry. It's not bad to me. The actual thing that you ate is just a little oat snack, but it's yeah. durian flavor. Interesting. I will say, that's not the worst thing that I've ever eaten, but something about that durian flavor, I've never had it before, but it reminds me of something that I've had, like maybe um, when you're swallowing a pill and it starts to dissolve in your mouth a little bit, like chalky residue on it. I know why they're individually wrapped because even with them individually wrapped, I can still smell it and it's gonna be a no for me. I'll give it a five and a half out of 10. So I think we're gonna take a major step up from there with these. Isabel and I found these. It smells like bubble gum. I could see how that might smell like bubble gum a bit. Sis, what do you think? Is it like strawberry flavor? Mm -mm. It tastes like the color pink. <laughs> these are pineapple filled cookies. The outside kind of just tastes like a regular shortbread cookie kind of thing. And then inside is pineapple flavored. I don't really like pineapple and I like I this. So. It helped me to get rid of the durian flavor. I think Isabel approves because she's digging for more now. This is what's next. Oh, it's very dense. We're both gonna like this. <gasps> is this like a bigger version of those little candies that we got? That's what it kind of feels like. Mmm. It's good. It's so good, and you're right. That's it what is? it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are like traditional Korean cookies. And we've had a little miniature snack version of these before. And at the grocery store, I noticed they had full size ones and I saw someone buy them. So I bought them. They're so dense, very moist. Don't they kind of taste like a honey bun that's been compressed? Yeah. Definitely like this. I knew we were gonna like this. That was so good. Next, we have a snack that Isabel picked for herself and she's running over here now because she sees it. Sis is going to be our big helper. What is this? You can have one. Oh, what is oh. it? Mmm, they're really good. These are essentially gigantic hazelnut flavored Cheetos. Oh. Uh. Good, good. I like this thing and the Cheeto is very yummy. All right, so I think we've officially moved on into the candy portion of this. Up next, this is going to go over really well. It's like a mint chocolate ball. Sis, tell daddy what it is. Almonds. <gasps> almonds. Almonds. We love all these different flavored almonds, but we've never had this kind before. Go I'm the only one in this family that likes mint chocolate anything. They will be gone by tonight. Okay, it's... <clears throat> oh, there's kind of like a Nutella flavor in there. But I'm gonna guess just like a strawberry chocolate mm -hmm. treat. It is not strawberry. What is it? Banana. Really? Yeah. Wow, I really don't like bananas. Actually, I take that back. I dislike the texture of banana, but I guess I don't really remember what bananas taste like. The kids couldn't resist these. What do you guys think? Okay, this was another Isabel pick. It smells sweet. Oh, it's cute too. Mmm, it's a gummy. Mmm, that's really good. I don't know what it is. Let me have one more. I'm just trying to decipher what shape it was. Is it a hornet? Yeah, they're hornet gummies. They're the cutest mm. little strawberry gummies. They're really good. And our last candy. This is a variety pack, so I'm just gonna let you choose one. After I open it. This is the one. It's a hard candy. I don't really know what flavor any of these are. Oh, it smells like coffee. That is very good. That tastes like coffee, too. The reason I got these, is because it's a Korean candy, right? But it's got like the Scottish bagpipe player on it. <laughs> I thought, wow. why not? Let's try the Scottish Korean candy. Yeah. It has 
A picture of coffee and bananas. All right, well, that was really good. Successful snack try. Yes, another good one. So that was our first Korean snack haul. We didn't get more because we really only have so much room in our kitchen to hold all these snacks. So if you guys leave us some recommendations, then we will get some more after we finish eating all this. Well, if you enjoyed that, subscribe. We'll see if I can put the subscribe button put somewhere. It here. Here, subscribe. Or here. We'll figure something out. Now. No. Not yet. Why? Give me a kiss.